Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 12 previews and analysis. This video is for the game between the Arizona Cardinals and the Indianapolis Colts. This game will take place down in Arizona. The Colts with a record of 7-3, leaders in the AFC South. And the you know Arizona Cardinals, 6-4, and four, now right in the thick of things there in the NFC Wild Card. And you know, the Cardinals are one of these teams that's very under the radar. And I think they've been that way um, because their offense has struggled in a lot of their wins. Uh, if you look, we'll see if they turned a corner last week against Jacksonville. Yes, I know it was against Jacksonville, but Carlson Palmer was able to avoid any big mistakes, uh, throw for over 400 yards. You have that defense that's been a major constant this year. They're in the top five in the league um, as far as rush defense goes, allowing just 3.4 yards a carry. So on the flip side, Indianapolis maybe the one of the most one of the most misleading stats in the NFL is they average close to four and a half yards a carry. Okay, and when you look at uh, you know it's largely perceived that their running game is very you know not dependable, and you know I agree, and it's really you know there's a sort of a interesting dichotomy going on there where it seems like whenever Donald Brown gets the ball, he gets five or six yards, <laughs> but then they feel the need to keep on feeding Trent Richardson. So does that changing of the guard happen in this game? Do they give Brown the ball more? Are they able to gain any traction running the ball against Arizona? I think that's going to be key. Because I think you're seeing, um, although Indianapolis has won two of the three games since Reggie Wayne's injury, they've certainly struggled more um, on offense as a whole. Having to pull these last-minute comebacks out or late comebacks out like they did last week um, against Tennessee on Thursday night, you know, if Arizona is able to somewhat take T.Y. Hilton away, you know that's when the problems I think are sort of going to start here for that Colts offense. Um, can Kobe Fleener step up like he did last game with over 100 yards, or do the you know Cardinals safeties and obviously their linebackers led by Darrell Washington and Carlos Dansby are they able to sort of curb that Fleener production that was so big in that last game versus Tennessee? We'll see how that plays out. Um, from a you know from an offensive point of view, can they keep Robert Mathis and company off of Carson Palmer? Uh, Carson Palmer, if you give him time to throw with the weapons he has, uh, you know with the an emerging Michael Floyd, an established Larry Fitzgerald, and an emerging Rob Hausler, you know if you give Palmer the time to throw, I think he can be uh, I think he can be productive here, especially in this game. How does the Arians' familiarity with that entire Colts roster, the Bruce Arians' familiarity, having been the interim coach there last year, does that play a role at all? Consider he probably knows Andrew Luck. Um, you know. Well, he definitely knows Andrew Luck very well. Does that play into this at all? I think it will a little bit, um, especially since he probably knows some of Andrew Luck's tendencies. When you combine that with a stout Arizona defense, I think it gives them a little bit of an advantage. Obviously, Luck, um, you know, where Luck does um, obviously have a lot of value is his ability to come back late if that Arizona offense should open the window for him in the form of turnovers. Um, you know, the Arizona running game tends to be better at home as well. So that's something to watch against an Indianapolis defense uh, that can be run upon. Make no mistake about that. Um, if you're willing to commit to the run, you can definitely run the ball on Indianapolis. We'll see if Arizona does that or decides to go to the air early and often. A lot of different subplots in this game, a game with a lot of playoff implications. Um, you know, I think the Colts, they're going to cruise to that AFC South title. So I don't think this game is as big for them as it is for the Cardinals. And getting the Cardinals at home, having to win to keep pace in the wild card, the Cardinals looking for that staple win here that, to stamp them as a legitimate contender. So I like Arizona, okay, minus one at home, to beat Indianapolis. Guys, let me know what you think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game every week, and I'm always talking the news of the day in the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.